In this video, we'll learn to represent numbers up to 1000 using cubes. I'll start with 111. So that's, as I said, 100. So that is represented by a block of 100 small cubes. And 11, so 10 and 1. There is a block of 10 and there is one cube. So what we call these here are the units, single ones, one cube, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten would be coming here which we call tens that's the tens column and then finally we have the next one which is the hundreds column because if we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 they would go under the tens if you add one lot more that would make a hundred so we call these hundreds So this is how we represent 111. Then if we want to represent 112, 112, that means there are two units. So this is how 112 looks like. If I want to represent 122, so that shows there are two units, but need to be two blocks of 10. So there is one and another one, two, and here is a block of 100. Let's try and represent 222. So what has changed now? The units are the same. The tens are still the same, so we've got two. But the hundreds have changed. So I've got a block of a hundred, but I need another block of a hundred. So here we have two of them, two blocks of a hundred. So this represents 222. I could go on if um, I wanted to represent a bigger number, then the digits would tell me how many of each I'd have, how many units, how many tens, and how many hundreds. So what I'm gonna show now is 900. So how I write 900 is this, 900, which shows that there are nine blocks of 100. So I will bring over nine blocks of 100. You can probably see here that we've got nine rows of a hundred so that is nine hundred here and that shows that there are zero tens i'm going to take away the tens and that shows that there are no units so zero units only the nine hundred blocks so if i want to show now nine hundred and ninety nine so 999, that means there are 900, 9 tens. So I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 9 blocks of 10. And there are nine single 
units. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. So we've got the nine hundreds, nine tens, and nine units. Now, what is going to happen if I add just one more unit? If I add one more unit, this is going to become a 10 because I've got 10 single ones, which means that this is going to look like this if I put them all together. So we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is not a unit anymore, but it's made a block of tens, which I need to transfer to the tens. So I'll change this to a zero. And these were nine, but now they become they become ten. So really, I can't keep them in the tens any longer because this has made a block of a hundred. So I'm going to have to put it on top of the hundreds. So I'm going to have it here as a block of a hundred. And I'm going to need to change this digit to a zero because there are no tens any longer and I transfer them to the hundreds. And are there nine hundreds any longer? No, they're actually ten because I added one more. So this has become a ten. And what's this new number that I've got? This is one thousand. So these ten blocks of a hundred have made 1,000. So this needs to go under the thousands column. So I've created a new one which says thousands. So not even hundreds because 10 of them will make a thousand. So this is how to represent numbers up to 1,000 using the cubes.